We're going to learn how to make 3D geography or 3D maps, whatever you want to call it, using free tools, um, all free tools. I'm going to do it in SketchUp Make, but um, I believe you could use this process for basically any 3D rendering program. So this is what you're going to get as a final product. Um, basically, you can make it as detailed as you want. Um, so I'm going. I'm not going to focus on how to use SketchUp so much, just as the pro basically the process of uh, how to import 3D um, terrain and then how to get your colored map on top of it, how to project it on top of that. So uh, the websites you use are Height Mapper. This is the uh, this is the website right there. And uh, you can use Google Earth or whatever whatever map website you want to get the imaging. Um, this gave me a nice detailed uh, image of the area I want to get. So first of all, you want to find the area you want um, and uh, put on your maps and your labels, map lines and labels, and then click the export button and uh, save it wherever you want and I'm actually going to save it with this number because we're gonna need this number to get to make it a accurate 3d model so I'm just gonna save that in the file name so I'm gonna copy that and export this again paste it in there and put it in here save it so we need that one, and we also need to now turn off map lines and labels and do it again. Export it, paste in that number, and save it. Oops, we're going to, um, got to change the name here, no lines. You can name it whatever you want. Save it. So we, now we have our two images. Um, with one of those images, we have to reduce the size. You will understand why later. Um, you can use whatever, pro, whatever imaging program you want to reduce the resolution of your image. I'm just going to use GIMP because we're doing this with all free software. While that's opening, uh, we're going to go back here. I'm going to close this. And I'm going to do a make a new one, make a new file here. Okay, so first of all, what we want to do is change to a top view and our camera, put it onto parallel projection. If you don't know how to use that, do that. Just search for a YouTube video on how to do it. So I think we got GIMP open here. We'll go back here. We're going to open the file that we made um, that doesn't have the uh, lines on it because that's the one we're going to reduce in size. So it's this one here. It's going to open that. Um, I'm actually going to go, you go here to image, scale image. I'm actually going to reduce it down to 15%. We'll understand why later. Uh, change that to percent. Try that again. 15%. Scale it. There we go. So now I'm going to uh, overwrite that. PNG. Okay, so I got that. I can close GIMP now. I'm going to go back here, I'm going to import my first image, where were we, documents. So I'm going to, inf first of all, I'm going to import the image that has the lines on it, because that's the one I want. Okay, import it here. We can drag it out to whatever size you want, just for simplicity. I'm going to drag it out to 1,000 centimeters. Enter. So I got that one. I'm going to right click on this entity info. I'm going to add a layer here and I'm going to call this um, with lines. You can call it whatever you want. I want to be able to turn this off later. So I'll put that on this layer here with lines. Now I can turn that on and off. Mm, that's Becky crying in the background, by the way. And now we're going to import the next image, um, which is we have not imported it yet. I'm going to go back here. So we, we need this image here. So we're just going to take a screenshot of that, of the piece we want, which 
I can't do right now because I'm recording this video. So I'm going to stop this, take the screenshot, and keep recording. While I was taking my screenshot of, screenshot of the map, I realized that I actually needed this scale down here. So I went over to Google Maps, and I did it in Google Maps. So we're going to see how to do it in Google Maps, which everybody wants anyways, I'm guessing. Okay, so I got my screenshot of my map. So now I'm, I think I, I think that went to the desktop. Yeah, there it is there. So we're going to import that. We can just drag it over, make it approximately the same size. So this next step is the most important one, or very important anyways. We have to line up these two images. So I'm going to right click on this, Entity Info, and we're going to put that, well actually first we're going to explode it. Right click again, make group, and now we're going to add a new layer, call this projected because we're going to project it onto the map. So now I can turn that projected, oh, once I put it on the layer, now I can turn the projected on and off. Um, so now we're going to right click on this. So oh, actually, sorry, we're going to, uh, we're going to bring up the bucket tool. And we want to give this some transparency so we can line this up. So if I click on my little house here, um, teaching sketch up here sorry and uh, if I go back over here bucket tool command on a Mac I'm not sure what to control I think on Windows that will select this um, this image and then I can double click on it here and I can uh, choose what my transparency should be probably around 30 or something like that um, I think we should even bring it down a bit more maybe 25 Okay, once I have that, uh, we're going to go to the uh, Move tool here, and I want to line these up. So yeah, I can see kind of the blue line underneath. Right now, they don't line up. This image is actually too big, so um, I'm going to scale this a bit. Press M to get back to my Move tool again. Try lining this up again. Still too big. Gonna scale it a bit more. This is the most tedious part of the process. I haven't figured out an easier way to do this to get the scale right. Somebody can. They can leave it on post it on the comments. Okay, we're almost there. And I'm not sure why, but they don't seem to. I actually have to rotate it a little bit. Was what I've noticed. Um, it all depends on how accurate you want to be with this, but normally you want to be fairly accurate. So we're going to rotate it just a bit. Try that again. Oh, we've got to rotate it just a bit more. Okay. That's actually fairly good. I think it could be rotated maybe just a tiny bit more. Let's do this once more. Okay, that's pretty good. So once you have the images lined up, you can take more time doing this if you want, uh, making the scale more accurate and, and everything. But um, that all depends on how accurate you want it to be. So you got the images lined up. Now that's the that, that part's done. So now you can go back to the camera, put it back to uh, perspective, and uh, now what we want to do is uh, we're going to take our projected image. We're going to move it straight up a bit, get it out of the way. Once we have that up there, come back here if we want, turn the opacity back up to 100. Okay, so that, that part is done. 
So now this image, we don't really need it any. We can turn off projected for now. This image, we're not actually going to use it. We're not going to convert it to 3D. We're going to come in here and we're going to import the other image that is much smaller now, this one here with no lines. We're going to import it to here drag it out so it's exactly the same size. We know that it's a thousand across, almost exactly a thousand. This is resized, but I know the, the, the bigger file was exactly a thousand. So I'm going to turn off with lines. And now I have my base. I guess I can uh, put this on a layer two if I want. Call it whatever you want. So now I can turn that on and off as well. So now this is the part why you're on, now you'll understand why we resize that image. So we got to install this uh, this plugin for SketchUp, which is called Bitmap to Mesh. If you search for it in the um, plugin warehouse by TomTom, Tom. excellent plugin, wonderful, good, well done, TomTom. Tom. So uh, you want to click on Mesh from Height Map in this case. And now this is the part where you need to know how far to pull it up. Now that's where the formula comes in handy that they put on the Height Mapper, which is wonderful. This number here. So that's the uh, X to Z ratio. So basically, the this measurement here the width, which in this case is a thousand, all I got to do is multiply it by that number and I will know how far to pull this up. So just bring out a calculator and I'm just going to copy if copy in that number as soon as my computer decides to load it. So Mm hmm here it is. So I'm going to copy that in, paste it into my calculator, times 1,000, and there's my number, 114. So I can go write that down, 114.878. Now I come in, right-click, Mesh from height map. Now I actually know how far to pull it up. You can see down down on the right hand side, I can actually type in a value, which is 114.878. Enter. And I'm not sure why I always get an error message at first, and then I have to type it in again. 114.878. Enter. And the second try normally always works. Now, if I had a higher resolution bitmap, it would take forever to load, and I wouldn't get my 3D image. It would just lock up the computer. So you might actually have to reduce it even more, depending on the, your processor speed. So now all I have to do is go turn on my projected again. Come in here, click right-click, make sure it says projected, and then bucket tool, pro, uh, modifier key, select that. And I can turn this back off once I get out of the group. Turn that back off, come in here, double click, triple click to select it all, bucket tool, paste it on. And I have my 3D image. Now, what we haven't done yet is scaled it. And that's what we need this scale, this, uh, that scale that for. So now we're going to go back, turn on the projected again, come in here, Scale it. If you need to know how to do this, you can search how to scale a in SketchUp, and I'm sure there's lots of tutorials. So scale that. What did was that? That was all. Okay, that's 200 meters. 200. Scale the model. Yes. 
So now it is scaled. Now obviously I got a little bit of fixing up to do. I'm not going to go into how to do that, but because I mean I got my uh, um, my map repeating itself. But the piece I have, I, I, I have the piece I want, which is the farm in Hunin, which is the system train in Colombia. And I have my 3D map scaled to scale. So I can actually come in here and take measurements and it will actually tell me how far it is. And I didn't scale this correctly, by the way, which you might notice. This is 200 meters. So I gotta go do this once more. Now it's scaled correctly. Should be about 300 meters from here to here. 500 meters, yes. So now I have my, th I can turn off my projected and there, there you have your 3D piece of geometry. Now you can cut the pieces out you need. Uh, you can cut off this stuff down here. You don't need it. The rest is just uh, modeling and sketch up. Hope this is useful for you. Any comments or questions, you can post them. Thank you.